And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with the Game Boy Geek. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. You may have recently seen a review of Phantom of the Opera from the Mr. Jack game series that came out at Gen Con. Well, previous to that, there was Mr. Jack Pocket, Mr. Jack New York. Today, we're going to take, take a look at the original that came out in 2006 from Hurricane Games, the original Mr. Jack. Two-player game, 30 minutes, ages 9 and up. Um, it's a good way to start off the series. Let's check it out, see how it's played, and I'll tell you a little bit about uh, the differences between this and the other versions and which one to get. Let's check it out. Okay, Mr. Jack is set up, and it's always set up the same way every time you play it. You see there's eight characters around the board, and how the game works is it gets played over eight different rounds. Now, one player is going to be Mr. Jack, and at the beginning of the game, he's going to take one of these cards uh, and shuffle them, and he's going to take one of them, and he is going to be uh, sort of this gentleman, the, the Inspector Lashard, the blue character. He has sort of uh, disguised himself as this character, so that is who he is for the whole game. Now, the object of the game is Mr. Jack is trying to eat a last through all eight rounds without being caught and arrested, or he's trying to escape out through an open city gate before the eighth round. In this case, this would be the blue character. The inspector is trying to find him and arrest him before he does either of those things, gets out through the city gate or gets through the eighth round. How the round structure works is these character cards, they're shuffled. There's eight of them, one for each of the characters on the board, and four of them will be placed up on the side of the board. And what happens is in the first round, the inspector will pick one of them. They'll get the first action, but they only get to take one of them. They will use one of these people, they'll do their moves, and they will you know, resolve their moves. We'll talk about that later. Then Mr. Jack gets to pick two in a row. So maybe he picks this guy and this guy, and then the inspector gets the last move that's left. Now, they resolve um, the question of, can Mr. Jack be seen? Now, as you can see, some of these people are next to lights here. These four are next to lights. This guy is not. Anytime someone is next to a light or if somebody's next to a player, these players can be seen. If they're alone and they're not next to a light, these four players cannot be seen. At the end of each round that we just showed, uh, the questions ask, can Mr. Jack be seen? Well, we know that this is me. Let's just say this was the end of the round. Um, he would say, can Mr. Jack be seen? Since I'm next to a light or a person, I can be seen. Which means that anyone that can't be seen is, is uh, innocent and can be flipped over. Like that. So it's a process of elimination that happens over the rounds. And so now um, the inspector has narrowed it down actually in half to only um, one of these four characters. So the next round would start the last four character cards, since we don't, there's only eight characters and we do four per round. So the other four that weren't used in the first round will get used here. And it's the same type of thing, but it's swapped in reverse. In this case, Jack gets the first move and he picks one of his guys. He does the movement. Then the inspector gets two, two moves in a row. So they would maybe pick this guy and this guy and do his moves. And then um, the Mr. Jack gets the last move that's there. And then again, the question would be asked, can Mr. Jack be seen? Now, there is a card here, the scene card, the witness card, they call it. This side is seen. As you can see, his face is lit up. This side is dark. He cannot be seen. In any round, so at the end of this, let's, let's just say this gentleman was here at the end of the round. Uh, and let's just say this guy was over here. And at the end of the round, we said, could Mr. Jack be seen? And we know that this is him. The answer would be no, he can't be seen. Which means since these guys can be seen, they're innocent. And now they have me narrowed down to one of these two guys. This gets flipped over. And now Mr. Jack cannot be seen. Which means on any round, uh, round afterwards when this is can't be seen mr jack has an opportunity to escape out through one of these open paths that's one way to victory is escaping but he can only do it when uh he has not been seen in a previous round we're gonna take a look at the character moves and special abilities now jerry and bert the orange character he moves one to three hexes and then either before or after his movement he can change and swap out a manhole cover so as you see we have a manhole cover here and a manhole cover here after his movement he can move one to three hexes and after he moves, he, can t he, he must take one of these and uh, move it to somewhere else that, that covers it. Now, in normal movement, people can go one, two, 
three and hop from manhole to manhole. So covering that uh, uh, stops uh, people from doing that. John Smith, the yellow character, moves one to three hexes. And then bef before or after his movement, he has to swap a turned on light with a turned off. So obviously these yellow things are lights. We see some that are empty and he would simply take one that's on and move it to one that's off. Also keep in mind that as the rounds go on and it gets later in the game, some of these numbered lights begin to come off one at a time going one through four after the, uh, at the end of the first round they start coming off. So it gets harder and harder to be seen. Sergeant Goodley moves one to three hexes and before or after he can blow his whistle and bring up to three character movements to him. So here's character Goodley over here. He could bring this person one, two, three, or he could bring this person one, this person one, and this person one, any amount of three, and they all have to be closer to Goodley. Watson moves one to three, and then after his movement, he must uh, shoot his light in a specific direction. So let's say Watson moves one, and you see an arrow pointing here? He can pick which way that faces, and now this light shines, and this person, who's Mr. Jack, by the way, can be seen. So it shoots light, not through buildings, but it can see someone further away. So William Gull, by the way, looks exactly like the designer Bruno Cathala, it probably is him, moves one to three, or he can swap places with another person. And by swapping, simply it's swapping spots like that. Sherlock Holmes moves one to three, and afterwards he takes an alibi card. So let's say this alibi card is taken, and let's say it's the orange Jeremy Burt. So if the um, investigator pulled this out, we now know that he is innocent, so he would get flipped over. If he's already flipped over, nothing happens. If it's Jack that pulls this, and he's still innocent, he would just not show anybody, put it face down, and now he knows the investigator doesn't know this information. Miss Stealthy moves one to four. She's the only one that can move that far. And optionally, she can move through building tiles and light tiles and things like that. So here, Miss Stealthy could go one, two, three, four, go through the buildings up to four, and she can't end her movement on a building. Inspector Lestrade moves one to three before or after he can move one of those police guards. There are two police guards to start the game. He could take one and move it to a different corner, which then leaves two open for Jack to escape through. So again, if Jack makes it through the end of the eighth round without being arrested, he wins. If he's able to escape out of the city on a turn falling when he couldn't be seen, he wins. Uh, and the investigator wins if before those things happen on one of their movements, they go on top of Jack and accuse him of being Jack. And if it's true, he wins and arrests him. If it's not, he loses. All right, well, there's Mr. Jack. So let me preface this with saying I am a big fan of the Mr. Jack series. I know not everybody is. I am. I love games with any deduction element in it. Uh, the majority of my collection has deduction elements in it. So I am a big fan. Now, with that being said, um, Mr. Jack, the original, is not my favorite. Uh, but it's still one that I have because I still do enjoy it. Now, all the Mr. Jacks are similar enough that they feel similar, that you can, you know, we can go from one to the next without having to learn a whole lot of new mechanics. Uh, but they are then, you know, they, they're still different enough from each other that they, they warrant different spots in your collection. So, about Mr. Jack itself, um, the, the system, since this might be the first review you're watching of the Mr. Jack game system, I like that there's a lot of thinking involved with a little amount of time. So even though it's a 30 minute game, sometimes we play it in 15 or 20 actually, um, that it, it feels a little bit like chess, like a version of chess. And it shouldn't surprise us because as talking with Bruno Cathala, the designer, is that he was a very, and is a very good chess player. So it's it's no surprise that this does kind of feel cat and mouse, just does kind of feel a little chessy. Obviously it's nothing like chess, but it kind of feels like that where you're thinking moves ahead, you're thinking what moves your opponent's gonna do. Uh, and so it is uh, a lot of thinking for a little amount. So I really like that. I like the deduction element. So overall, the Mr. Jack stuff, I, I just love because of that. Um, now for the Mr. Jack itself, uh, my favorite is actually the Mr. Jack Pocket because it takes 15 minutes to play. You don't have to teach anybody new characters or how special abilities work. So that one is my favorite because you can introduce someone to the game system really easily. Then once they've played that, getting them to play any of the other systems is simple. The only new mechanic they're really learning at that point are the special abilities. So I usually typically start with Mr. Jack Pocket. Uh, if you're new to the game system, that might be a good one to try first because it's the least expensive as well and it's small. It'll give you a sense of what 
the, the, how the system works. Uh, if you do like it, you'll probably end up getting all of them like I do um, because they are just great. My favorite of the, the sort of the bigger box series is the most recent one, the Phantom of the Opera. Um, my problem with the original one was uh, after statistical plays, after thousands of them, tens of thousands, uh, the investigator wins 60% of the time. So there is a 60-40 unbalance, which isn't terrible because if you're playing with a new person, hey, you can play the, 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 the Jack character and it's going to be harder for you to win normally but if you play with someone easy that might kind of even it up a little bit also um it, it's got a stagnant setup where some of the newer versions mr jack pocket and the phantom of the opera um they're randomly set up so every game's different so i do like the two newer ones better than the two older ones i like mr jack pocket better i like mr jack uh, i like the phantom of the opera better uh but um this was the original so there's something to be said for that to having the original playing it uh and if you like pocket or any of the other ones you'll probably like this one too and they are different enough that you'll want to check this one out thanks so much for watching the dice tower videos find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com you can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com i'm eric summerer and you've been watching the dice tower the dice tower is sponsored by cool stuff inc where you can find great games for great prices cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. <laughs>